It's June already. What is going on with this year? I swear time is flying faster than ever. I guess the good things about it being June already is that it's really nice and sunny now. For those of you who are watching who might not live in England, when it gets to like end of May, June, July, August time, it's actually really nice because we get a bit of sun and the evenings are lighter. I just can't believe how fast time is going. Time is passing so quickly. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. My last video I think I put up was probably the last home game of the season, the bank holiday weekend. It is now June. That's just unbelievable, isn't it? We're halfway through the year already. In the start of June, I have my mum's and my sister's birthdays. My sister is gonna be away for her actual birthday. She's very lucky, she's going on holiday. But we wanted to do something with her and my mum before they went away. Unfortunately, my younger sister can't be here because she's still in Norway, that's where she lives. We are going for an afternoon tea. So because it's quite a girly thing, we haven't invited my brother, <laughs> we haven't invited my my dad but it's midweek anyway they'll be working so it's fine we're going to the four seasons in hampshire which i've never been to um i think sarah's been before and she said it was really nice so i'm trusting her judgment on that i thought i would take you guys along you can see what we get up to you can see what it's like there and you can see our afternoon tea right i need to get the train so let's get going i actually can't be late today because this tea is booked for a certain time let's get a move on monkey I'm off now. It's warm. I'm we in the front. M3. I um, thought I'd be in the back. Oh. Is it no, I need to. Oh, okay. What is that? Squares? Hang on. I need to concentrate because normally I can see. It's I fine. Can see the mirror. Down, what are you going in the back? No, she's oh. trying to tell me the way. Wait, can you? Wait, wait, just stop a second. Because I just need to get out of here because I'm not used to driving without my camera. Because Jane switched it off. I can't drive without your. No, you've gone the wrong way already. No, you can't go that way. I said go. I can't go that way. Why? It's, can it's I? Closed, you could have done, but it doesn't matter. Right or left? Right. I've put an Italian thing on whilst so I was driving this morning. Finally learning Italian. Well, after how many years? Uh, I've been with Vic for two and a half years. So two and a half years. Two and a half years. Everyone say hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hello. Hello. This doesn't seem like the right way. I have no clue where we're going. I, I don't know where really this place is. Mum always takes like the most complicated route. No, we don't. We're taking the most direct. I swear you never have petrol whenever I'm in your car. No. Is it on the light again? Uh, it's on the light, but it's not on the line. So we're oh, always good. driving on the light in your car. No. We're just talking about we've made a special request for the afternoon tea because Mum went for an afternoon tea recently and was served a cold mushroom sandwich. Oh. And we're all vegetarians. Are vegetarian Geminis? Yes. Or is it she says she's legally blonde? She talks about her dog or something. She goes, this is Bruiser and we're Gemini vegetarians or something. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the point. Oh, well, we're all vegetarians. And mum went for an afternoon tea recently and got served cold mushroom sandwich, which is gross. And fake duck. And yeah. fake duck. Oh. So we called ahead and asked not to have such things. And we forgot to ask for no nut desserts for Sarah because she's also fussy with her desserts. <laughs> Anything I, else we're fussy about? I am like the most fussy person ever. Like, God help them. Are we here? Yeah, nearly. Ah. See that Four Seasons dog was filled. Yeah, thanks. You directed me here. Thanks, Mum. Mum didn't direct us here. <laughs> She kept going, take, take the new road and then go down to the new roundabout and then take the, and then the whatever road and then the wide road and the dual carriageway. Mm -hmm. Oh well, here we are now. Let's hope they get our sandwich requests right. It's further down, we're going in delivery. Oh, so. oops. Oh, this isn't the address. That's what I was confusing. <laughs> Whoa, look at all those scrunchies you've got on there. Yeah. I like that one. Which one? And this pink one. You can take that one if you want. Thanks. I've yeah. got so many scratches, I can donate you. Thanks. Yeah, I like that one. Thanks. So that was the wrong entrance. Yeah. Here we are at the entrance. Oh, very posh. Yes. Nice, neatly Ooh. mowed lawn. Probably going to be a long driveway, isn't it? It's yeah, climbing. Kind of 20 years later we'll get there. It looks like, um, what was that TV series that everyone watched? That I never watched, but it was set in a big house. It was old fashioned. Oh yes, that one. What was it called? Yeah, I know the one you mean, set at Highgate Drayton Manor or something. Everyone watched it, but I didn't watch it. Downton Abbey? Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Abbey. Where do I park everybody? Um, Not in there. Not in there. Guest right self on. park here. Yeah, to the left. Where's the car park? Blimey, we're going to have to walk for miles. It's good, we can work off our cakes. Cute bird noise. Uh. 
We're trying to find the entrance now. See where we need to go to. Trying to find the front of this building. It's a very big building. We finally found the entrance. Very pretty. We're going through here. You're the reason why everything looks so nice. It's a sequence of service. On the left side of our menu, we'll be serving you first the sandwiches, a selection of sandwiches, and then after that, the tall stand with all the cakes and pastries, and then the warm scones, okay. and then the tea cakes. And those are a selection of teas. Is there any allergy dietary recommendation? Vegetarian? Yeah. yeah. We've sat down at our table. It's so quiet in here, guys. It's really quiet in here. This is our table. It's quiet until we get in. Yeah, it's quiet until we arrive. <laughs> oh, I don't actually drink tea. Maybe I'll see if there's an elderflower tea. Oh my gosh, outside they're doing some kind of sheepdog herding. Oh, look at them running by. How funny. Show us your cup. Yeah, they've got really nice china here. There's nothing in it. Yeah, I know, but it's just pretty, isn't it? Have you got the same cup, Mum? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just lovely, lovely china. It is very pretty. Have you got bumblebee in yours? Yeah, and there's bumblebee and a butterfly and a kingfisher. So I want cute. a table ride. Yeah, I really want well, a table ride. William yeah, Edwards. Four seasons I know, but if you, if you put in William Edwards china, you might be able to get that range. What are those little pops for? It's for the tea leaves. Oh, oh you get actual tea leaves. You can tell you don't drink tea. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that's just hot water in there. So that's your tea bag, is it? Yeah. And this is my Coke because I don't drink tea or coffee. <laughs> Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Thank you. Mm. Does it smell like? It smells like? fruity. This is red berry. Yeah. So Jane, this is what you Can do. I even lift this pot? Yeah, what do you do? You pop this bit on there, then you pour it. I've got a pour line. Oh. And then the leaves get caught in there, and then you just put it back there. Yeah, it's a tea strainer. I thought it would just be a tea bag. It's like posh. And what this is the reason I don't drink tea or coffee. You can have it black. I don't like milk. Yeah, but I don't like the flavour either. So I've got a red berry one that I'm going to try. How was your tea? Mm. Very nice. Very posh. I actually just burnt myself with my tea because it's really hot. I can't turn it off totally because I need it in case John needs me. <laughs> it's not my favourite flavour. Sandwiches have arrived. Thank you. Ooh, blimey, are they all for you? Yeah, you're getting the same. Are we? Oh. I lied, so everything's the same. Oh. Yeah, that's for the vegetarian, but... Yeah. No arguing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No stealing my sandwiches. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's that colours. one on the end. Yeah. Could that be a cold thing? Thank you. Yeah. So let's explain what all these are. Okay, yeah, thank you. So this is the truffle egg, mm -hmm. and we've got the aubergine with feta cheese and roasted pepper. Yeah. This is the cream cheese cucumber, and we've got olives, this one. The last one is the mushroom sandwiches. You didn't want any mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for no mushroom. I did. How weird. So why have they given us a mushroom sandwich? I have no idea. No oh dear. Should we tell Should we tell the lady? Yes. I don't know. That's really strange. So, as previously discussed in the car, we phoned ahead and asked him not to have a mushroom sandwich. And we have a mushroom sandwich. I knew this looked like mushroom. I did wonder when I saw that it. That for sure is mushroom. I can't even afford it. My bread's a bit dry as well, actually, on that one. That is so weird. Has anyone tried it? No, you probably like it. You eat mushrooms. I do eat mushrooms, but that doesn't look appealing for me. That I don't know. That's a vast improvement on the one at the fork of the other place. Sure, I'll bring bugs for you. Yeah, no, I didn't like the mushroom one. I think I'll stick to the egg. Okay, well, we'll all use that one then. So what's this? Truffle egg. What was this one? Olive. I'm going to try olive. Where did we go? Oh, the smell is quite strong. Yeah, but that was where I went with my friend Sarah. Yeah, sorry, I just spat out. No, I couldn't. I couldn't eat that. I tried. I tried. I phoned and I made three. I've been phoned for ages. Well, that was disappointing. I'm adventurous. I'm sorry. You, you can't say I'm not adventurous because I eat all sorts of foods. I put a lot of flavouring, a lot of spice. I tried it, I put it in my mouth, but that was not for me. Yeah, we tried to avoid this embarrassment of complaining. 
dance. I'm sorry, I'm still hungry. Two little finger sandwiches. That's what afternoon tea is like, though, Emma Jane. It's not going to stuff you stuff so you can't move. <laughs> don't forget, you've got, you've got cakes and scones to come. I don't want to leave when I'm hungry. Well, so far, the sandwiches <laughs> not been great. That poor girl that we complained to now. This has got vinegary. The cheese one was nice. And the egg but one was nice. Was nice. And also that roasted... Roasted red pepper. Okay, so that water. Joked before, right, that afternoon teas never do jam sandwiches. This is the first time. <laughs> no. What goes the egg? Honey and butter. Sarah will eat the jam one. She loves the jam one. sandwich. Do you want the jam one? Yeah. I would have that one or egg, yeah. I'd probably just have this one out of them all. The jam sandwich, that is banging. They brought us out some new sandwiches. Baba ganoush one. Mm, smell nice. Mm. It is yummy. Mm. It's no, nice it's actually really nice. It's good, isn't it? See, I told you I didn't have like bland yeah. taste buds. Love baba ganoush. They should replace the mushroom ones with this. So Sarah's got an eaten mess. Oh, yummy. As and something want different because she didn't want it. Oh. No thanks. So oh. we've got some kind of blueberry. There's a pansy on there. I think you, you can eat, eat pansies, yeah. I think you Fallen. can. I'm not sure. Go on, just eat it. Um, I don't know. Can you eat pansies? Yeah, go on. Put it in your mouth. No, I don't know. I'm a, can I eat the flower? Yes, yes. you do. You do? Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> mm. yeah. I've never eaten a pansy before. Yeah. This is a Jaffa cake. Mm. And then what else? This some, some kind of Earl Grey. Oh, Earl Grey. Oh. Yeah. It's, up, it's Earl Grey, yeah. Mm, and this nice. cake with icing looks nice. I'm going to try this. Ah, uh, this has marzipan. Which is almond. Blimey, well, this is quite weighty, isn't it? It's quite nice though, Jane. Mm. This tastes a bit like medicine. This is cute because it says about King Charles on it. <laughs> Hold that pot up for me, please, for the camera. This pot is gorgeous. What's the name of the guy? Henry um, someone? No, William Edwards. Oh. Let's see what he does. <laughs> so these are our scones. Do you say scone or do you say scone? Scone, I say scone. Scone. So you've got plain scones and raisin scones. Oh my goodness. One reed plate. Yeah. Like this. Two hundred and ninety-seven pounds. What for that one tiny little plate? <gasps> yeah. No. Oh my god. But in your bag. One cup. Two hundred. <laughs> I didn't and bring a big enough bag with me. <laughs> two hundred and ninety-two pounds. Two hundred pounds for that one cup. cup. That's a joke. That is a joke. Come on. <laughs> like, come on. That's not, not two hundred quid. Yeah, look, two hundred and ninety-two pounds and ninety-four pence. Is this actual gold then on here or something? <laughs> oh, box of twelve. Will I be healed? Oh, right. It's okay, my health James. Ailments? A box of twelve. 12 of these cups. For 200 quid? 292. I was going to buy you. They've got the little cups for sale up there. Well, I was going to buy Mum yeah. a cup. And what did I say? It won't be cheap. <laughs> anyway, these fillings, we've got jam, what was it? Lemon curd and clotted cream. Yep. Sarah's tucking in already. Well, it's lovely. Yeah. So one cup, 35 pounds. 35 pounds, yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> you wouldn't want to use it, would you? Oh my gosh, look at the little cheese board. If money was no object, you'd have the whole set. It's my little scone. I really don't know why you've put the lemon and the jam together. Am I not meant to do that? No. Normally you keep them separate. That's going to taste really? a bit weird. Oh. Well, I've put jam, lemon curd, and cream. I don't know what you're supposed to put on That's where. a strange combo. Really? And you're eating it like a burger. Mm. <laughs> don't it's going to Why did that. we take her to the afternoon tea? Why well, are we supposed to eat this? Like how mum's eating it then. Mm. What, in half? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but I put the jam on one in half. half. And in half again, mine is. No, but I put mm. the jam on one half and the cream and the lemon thing on the other half. Yeah, that's bizarre. Cool. Go on then, what's your verdict? Is it nice? It's lovely, yeah. Okay. Mix them up, it's great. No. Stack them like this. They've now bought out this. What was it again? Lemon and poppy seed. Lemon and poppy seed. And we're very stuffed. We're actually taking a doggy bag home. I can't see it in the box either. Yeah, full of things. And I need to add this scone as well. And now we're going to have to get another one to add this cake because we're too full. Right, what have you got there then, Mum? It looks like fudge and probably jelly. They've just bought Mum some sweets for her Turkish birthday. Device. Yeah, that does look like. a bit Turkish. Is that what Turkish delight is? I thought yeah. it was pink. Yeah. Does it say happy birthday on it? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Hold that up. Oh, <laughs> that's really cute. Let me take a picture. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this one, then you can give a nice look. Thank <laughs> you. Just remove all that. Oh dear, well, what have you got now then, Sarah? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, that's an orange jelly. Oh. So, oh, so the one you had, that was the nut-free one. So just now I came to oh. know there is one more birthday. That's why I just bought it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not actually allergic to nuts, so just not as keen on them. That's all. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Let me take a pic of you. 
Oh my god, all this stuff <gasps> we're taking back with us. We've and actually got two boxes. The happy birthday sign's going in there as well. And the fudge. Oh, have you chewed that one? No, she didn't. She cut it off. Oh, okay. Oh, happy birthday, guys. Yeah, happy yeah. birthday, Sarah. June birthday, babies. Mama. Birthday twins. We've finished our afternoon tea now and we've come out to explore the gardens here. The gardens are beautiful, it's so pretty. I think actually I'd rather just drive up here and sit in the gardens and read a book. I don't know if you can see on camera like just how beautiful they are. The afternoon tea as a whole is okay. I wouldn't say it was amazing. It wasn't my favorite that I've ever had and it was very, very expensive. Just my one Coke Zero alone cost five pounds. So yeah, you can imagine the price. The second load of sandwiches they bought us out were much better. The Baba Ganoush one, so good. But yeah, the first load of sandwiches wasn't massively impressed with, but the desserts were lovely, huge amount of food. Now we're just out here enjoying the gardens. Look at that nice neatly mowed lawn. Buttercups, daisies, dandelions. Sunflower, mellow. <laughs> Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. <laughs> Mum doesn't know what we're talking about. Mm. You're a wizard, Harry. Right, shall we head back then? Thoughts on the afternoon tea? Um, a little overpriced. Mm. And 15% service charge is a bit steep. Five pounds for a can of... Diet Coke. Diet Coke. No, not Diet, Coke Zero. Coke Zero. But yeah, five pounds for a bottle, bottle of, of still water. I was quite shocked at the price. Yeah. It was okay, it was nice enough. It's I don't think good. I'd come back though. No. That's our thoughts on the afternoon tea. Now to find the car. Oh my God, I've just seen she's put the bottle of water in here. Is Sarah? <laughs> yeah. What? You've put the bottle of water in to take back. Come on, a pound's worth of water there. Oh Don't they refill God. it though? No, isn't that? Well, actually they probably do because it do came you opened. Did it? So that could have been tap water. Could have been tap water. It came open. No, surely they wouldn't do that. Don't know. New Forest Spring Water. Well, this bottle cost five pounds. There was a bit left, so frugal Sarah. Sorry, what did she do? She she popped it in the bag. Um, well, happy birthday anyway, Mum. Yeah, I, I really birthday. did enjoy it. Definitely, it's an experience. I mean, the whole mushroom thing was hilarious. Yeah, the mushroom care. thing was so funny. After we had been uh, saying no yeah, mushrooms, that is funny. Even phoned up and asked for no mushrooms. What comes out? Shrimp sandwich. I don't know what that was about. Who decides that that's a good idea? I have no idea. Goodbye, Four Seasons. Mm. Probably see you never. Oh my God, it is so busy here. What the hell is everyone doing? I'm at my local Sainsbury's, the big one, um, that's nearest to where Zavami live. And it's so busy. I can't believe that this is what everyone has to do with their evening. I know I'm here as well, but like seriously, it's heaving here. I've got to pop in and get a few bits for work the next few days. Not that we often get a lunch break, but hey, it's nice to try the afternoon tea. As you could probably tell, before we went to the afternoon tea, we specifically phoned them up and said, um, just so you know, heads up in advance, please can we not have any um, cold mushroom sandwiches? I mean, I don't know what vegetarians they've asked about their menu, but who wants to eat a cold mushroom sandwich anyway? I'm an adventurous eater. I wouldn't say that I'm a, a particularly fussy eater. I like different flavours. I like spice. I like a lot of things that my family probably wouldn't normally eat. They always tell me I eat weird things, but a cold mushroom sandwich? Are you, are you actually joking? And then the other one that they put on there was olive. It had this overwhelming smell of vinegar. It just wasn't very nice. If you'd eat that, please comment in the comments below, but... I don't know many people who would eat that. The staff were lovely. They did get us new sandwiches. They brought us out these really lovely ones. One was baba ganoush with feta and the other one was an avocado sandwich. And then they just bought like a plain jam sandwich, which my sister was chuffed with. But I just thought, why not put those ones on the menu to begin with? Because they're really nice. Also, I'm sorry, but what's wrong with just a standard cheese and pickle sandwich? Or just cheddar cheese like on its own like why do we have to be so fancy and so overcomplicated with everything yeah so that wasn't ideal and then the cakes came out the sweet bits and again like they were all just a bit weird we had this earl grey flavored cake i did try it but i didn't really enjoy it i don't know weird stuff which like some bits were really nice some bits i really enjoyed but other bits i was just like you're just trying too hard to be weird and crazy and out there. Overall, I mean, we enjoyed being out. My mum had a nice time, but like Sarah said, the best thing about it was the tableware. And we don't like to make a fuss. I don't know about you guys, but like I find it really embarrassing. I feel really awkward to say like, look, I'm really sorry, but 
we didn't want this or we don't like this or can we change something when we said about the sandwiches they were very sorry about it and they they got us new sandwiches if you're paying five pounds for a coke zero or five pounds for a bottle of still water and you're paying like over 60 quid for an afternoon tea each it's just not worth it i'm sorry i'd rather do that in my own house and make my own scones it was really nice to go out and it was nice to celebrate with my mum and my sister for their birthdays but i don't know maybe if they change the menu up it'll be really nice sarah said she went there before and it was lovely so she wasn't really sure what happened this time around but hey there we go we didn't really enjoy it that much but the grounds are beautiful the hotel itself looks lovely that was our experience that they, they were our thoughts on it to be honest uh, but now i'm at sainsbury's like i said i need to get some bits um I've got a few shifts coming up and I like to be able to take lunch with me even if I don't always get to eat it I like to know that it's there because the canteen at work is only open for literally like two hours in the day and it's just not possible to be able to get away from the ward on those specific two hours to go and get your food I don't like to spend time getting changed because you're not allowed to go outside into the street in your uniform which makes sense because it's disgusting and you could get germs or like bring germs into the hospital or take germs out of the hospital but i can't be bothered to waste the time on my break if i do get one to get changed out of my scrubs into my own clothes to go outside get food come back get changed like by the time you've done that you've pretty much lost most of your break to be honest so i always like to take something with me so that's what i'm gonna do now and then i'm gonna head home probably cook another hello fresh meal with zav i don't know which one we're gonna have today have our hello fresh meal and then we're gonna watch a series on netflix we're gonna start it called batiste we've literally just finished a series called the missing which if you haven't watched the missing on netflix you need to go and watch it now it's so so good we binge watched the second series in like two sittings over two evenings we stayed up literally till like one o'clock the other night watching it it was so so good done a spin-off show with one of the main characters who's a detective in that show and it's called batiste so we're gonna watch that tonight and i can't wait but i need to quickly go in and get this food shopping because i'm sitting here rambling away and time is just going oh there's just so many people here to find it really daunting i really don't like when it's so busy i hope i don't see anyone i know okay let's do this it also looks like it's gonna rain <laughs> <laughs> 